How did a young man allegedly help people send almost $9 million to the Middle East illegally before being stopped by authorities? That's the big question raised by an indictment filed against a Metro Detroit man. 7 News reporter Kim Russell has more. A federal indictment has now been filed against a Metro Detroit man for setting up phony businesses and sending almost $9 million to the Middle East, most of it to Yemen. This is a look at the indictment filed yesterday in federal court against 26-year-old Heatham Noman. It says the crimes happened between August 2014 and March 2015, when the young man would have been only about 21 years old. He is accused of creating front businesses that he used to send millions of dollars overseas. Investigators say he charged people from around the country a fee to send money through his businesses, even though he did not have a license to run a money transferring business. In the course of only about eight months, he allegedly transferred $8,967,516. When banks would shut down suspicious accounts, he allegedly created new businesses. As a result, he is charged with causing the filing of false currency transaction reports and operating an unlicensed money transferring business. The indictment does not reveal who he was sending the money for and why. The scheme involved many banks, including common ones like Bank of America, Comerica, J.P. Morgan Chase, and PNC. In Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. Thank you, Kim.